I feel like the holidays have just completely snuck up on me and I do not feel prepared. So the goal today is to get some greenery out, get some ribbon up and just kind of like get the house started on Christmas decorating. Hey friends, welcome back. We are jumping into our Christmas decorating series today. But before we get into the decorating, I want to introduce you to my friend Sarah over at Sarah's October Home if you've not seen her channel before. Her channel is such a wonderful place to draw inspiration from. She has such a beautiful home. She's got a very like beautiful cottage style, but it's very refined. I feel like her styling is just perfection. So I know that you guys are gonna love her. She's got a very sweet, calm demeanor. It's very just like relaxing to watch her videos. And I know that her Christmas decor is going to be gorgeous. So I'm gonna leave the link for her video down below. So be sure after you watch this one to go over there and check hers out. Let's get into the decorating. I decided this year to invest in a lot of greenery and wreaths, stems, things like that. I purchased most of which from Hobby Lobby at 60% off, but it had been probably five plus years since I had purchased like quite a bit of new Christmas decor. I felt it was worth the investment to get pieces that I could reuse year after year. This wreath actually came from Walmart. I was very impressed with the quality for the price point. It was around $35 and I just really loved how weepy it is. It feels very whimsical to me and while I love the white berries on it, I did purchase it with the intention to remove them just because I won't have white berries and anything else. So you will see that here in just a bit, but I think it's beautiful with the berries as well. This Real Touch Garland came from TJ Maxx and was a really great price point as well. Some banister ties, I missed out on these last year so I had to be sure to get those early this year. And I'll be sure to link them below and anything else I'm able to. Of course we had to go for some ribbon. I really wanted to do a burgundy this year but when I found this Martha Stewart ribbon, I just couldn't pass it up. It was really nice quality and it ended up kind of leading the way for the rest of the reds that I purchased this year. I'm not a big vintage Christmas thrifter, but I do like items like this that give you that very subtle hint at Christmas. And so I picked these up a while back while thrifting and then this star garland I made last year, I did a DIY on this. So if you would like to make one of your own, I'll be sure to link that video down below for you. We are gonna hang up this buffet mirror. I purchased this a while ago. Again, it was a thrift find for 10 bucks. Uh, this is actually the original spot that I had intended it to go in, but we used it temporarily in the sunroom for Halloween. So now it is in its official home and I really love the way it looks here. Placing a command hook on the back of each of these French doors, I'm gonna hang wreaths on both of these. Now the wreaths that I purchased for this are not Christmas wreaths if you can't tell, but I feel like they really give a nod to that like fairy tale, whimsical Christmas and I just think it's fun sometimes to think outside the box. So I went over to the regular greenery section at Hobby Lobby and found these. And while they were not 60% off like I had hoped, like all of the Christmas things were, I think they were totally worth it. They were around $13 a piece. But yeah, like I said, fairy tale Christmas, I'm all about it. I think these were a really good choice and a way to just like do something a bit different this year. The top of this china cabinet needed some serious attention. It literally was just a hodgepodge of things I threw up there and never styled. I'm going to start with this greenery I got from at home. It was around 20 and it's a little bit plasticky, a little bit thin. It's not like the best one that I purchased for sure, but honestly, when you have a lot of these like garlands and things up, it's not noticeable how real or not they look, especially once you kind of style around them and get twinkle lights in them and all that. You could also always get something really basic like this and then add picks to it to fill it out. 
and to add like some different types of greenery to create like a higher end look. But for up here, I didn't feel like it was necessary. I just put some lights in it and then we're gonna add a couple of other things to style up here and pretty much call the china cabinet good. We won't do a whole lot. I don't like to restyle the inside of it all of the time. Um, so we'll just do a couple of like subtle touches and it will be done and we'll move on to the next thing. The day that I styled this, I knew I was going to need a few things that I would be getting the next day. So I kind of just threw up an idea of what I wanted up here and then we're gonna circle back around to it and finish that off in just a bit. Moving over to the wreath that I purchased from Walmart, I pulled these little berry stems right out. Um, so I could easily just put these back in if I wanted to. I do feel like it needs something but the white berries just didn't go. So either I'll put some lights on it or maybe I'll add some picks to it and we might revisit this in the next video. But my main goal was just to get it hung on the door and I chose to do the inside because we actually do window wreaths on the outside of the house every year. Um, and so I felt like it would just be too much to have one on the door as well. Gonna tie some ribbon on that and then we're gonna move over to the stairway garland. One of the things I love so much about these banister ties is they are wire, so you literally just twist them to secure them. And it made it really easy for doubling up my garland because I was able to just untie and retie them. Also, it eliminates the risk of damaging your banister. So I think that's a plus as well. I think those are totally worth it. I think you get like six for around 13 or $14, so definitely a good purchase. My garlands were a little bit short to run the whole way with me adding a swag at the bottom, so I do go back and kind of add in some picks to fill it out a bit, laughing because Jameson's in the other room <laughs> watching Home Alone and just like totally cracking up, so. I always like to use these Velcro command strips to place on my battery packs. You guys know this. I have talked about it so many times, but if you're new here, this is my little hack that I am loud and proud about, <laughs> but you just use Velcro command strips to attach to your battery packs. You can place it underneath your banister, really any furniture piece or anywhere, and then add your fairy lights. You're good to go. You can pull them back off to change out the batteries, whatever you need. I actually, I think I want to add more fairy lights to this. I might double them up this year because I just, I didn't feel like I had quite enough. And, you know, I don't know if you can ever have too many fairy lights. Gonna add some ribbon here. I wish that my ribbon was a bit longer. Last year I did some really long floppy bows, but I thought these red traditional like velvet bows were still really, really pretty.
this is just the first video in the decorating series. We still have Christmas treats to do and all of the things, but I really have this goal to keep it simple this year. I don't wanna feel overwhelmed by stuff. We have a toddler and so life is overstimulating often and our spaces being cleared out and not cluttered is very much needed in this season of life. So that's my goal this year. It's still gonna be beautiful, but we're just not gonna like overdo it. I went to Joann's to pick up some pine cones. I feel like Joann's has the best prices for that stuff, you guys. I don't know why, but all of the pine cone bags at Michael's were like $6, whereas they're like half the price at Joann's. So that's where I would say if you need like filler stuff, check Joann's because they have good prices. I also got these stems from there and I really like them. They're probably my favorite winter stems that I've gotten and they were $7.99. I believe they were 50% off though. So I picked these up as well. I thought they looked really pretty in my vintage ironstone pitcher. This was something that I thrifted at a garage sale. I think I got it for $2. I absolutely love it, it's so beautiful. And I thought it'd be perfect to just have like a little bit of greenery over on the buffet. So we're gonna go over there, we're gonna add some natural elements. Of course, we're gonna add our record player and a little drink station. I always like to have an area where I can put punch or if we're gonna make like some cocktails or something, I like to have that over on the buffet, but it doesn't have to stay there all the time. So I just kind of show you how I style it, but for every day, you could just totally remove the pitcher and, you know, have that space a bit open and maybe put some records there or something. I wanted a really small kind of just out of the way centerpiece. I didn't want it to interfere with our daily use of this table. So we are just going to use a big silver tray that I have and style it with some vintage pieces and also pull in some of those florals and greenery and just elements that we've used around the room to just kind of pull it all together and make it look very cohesive. So I always like to repeat the elements a few times in the room just so that it feels very much tied together. I have a thrift haul. I'm actually showing some pieces here that are supposed to be in a thrift haul that I need to film and share with you guys because I, I haven't done one in a while and I do have things I need to share. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see my thrift hauls and also future Christmas decorating videos. I do still have several to go. Really today's video is just kind of getting started. And then as far as the living room goes, this is gonna be one of the spaces that we do for Christmas. It looks totally different. We've been doing some work on it. We need to add some molding to the walls in here, make a DIY frame for our TV. We're gonna do a moody Christmas in here. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna be sharing that very soon, but let's take a look back really quickly at all that we did today. <music> 